they're all the three things that you're looking for when you need to try to define major resources. Obviously, is the grade, the volume, and the consistency. So we're very happy with the technical results to date. Today I'm joined by Dave O'Neill, the Managing Director of American West Metals, who today announced some outstanding good results from their Storm Copper project. Dave, could you tell us about the key highlights of this uh, announcement? Uh, thanks, Danica. Yeah, there are a lot of highlights. I think, um, look, if anything, there's three key things that we um, these results have really highlighted, which is the grade. Um, as investors would have seen, we're, we're strongly above 1% copper. Um, but we get a lot of good high grades intersections in, in that two to three percent copper range as well. And look, we even had assays up to seven percent, and that gives us a uh, fair bit of optionality. Um, it's fantastic to see the the broad intersections over one percent copper. But as, as investors will see, you know, we hit sixty seven meters in one hole, and all of these are fairly close to surface um, within the top hundred meters um, in the forty one hundred zone. The other, the other thing is volume, and uh, as investors would have seen, we certainly got some thick intersections in, in this, these drilling results. All of that is in, in the near surface, so above in the top 100 metres or so as well, and that's over many, many drill holes. And so, as you can see, consistency, and they're all the three things that you're looking for when you need to try to define major resources. Obviously, is the grade, the volume, and the consistency. So we're very happy with the technical results today. In terms of um, what you're looking for when you're defining a resource, the Storm project is up in the Arctic mining region. What's the the um, grade that you're targeting for the resource? Not so much targeting. I mean, the economics, like all projects, uh, a, a range of factors drive the economics. Um, obviously, location, accessibility, metallurgical and processing techniques, and also the, the type of mineralisation. So we're lucky we have... Uh, bulk volume of mineralization sits between one and three percent copper. Oh, you know, um, the work we're doing now, the DSO work, the beneficiation work in the background, that'll go a long way to driving what is the most economic uh, grades up here. Now, I guess it's really good to point out that, look, in terms of undeveloped copper projects globally, uh, I think the average grade is around 0 0.4, 0 0.45 percent copper. So Storm, as it currently stands, looking like being in the top 5% or so of, um, you know, global open pit mineable projects, which is a fantastic outcome. Like I said, the DSO work we're doing is really going to drive the economics from that. Mm -hmm. so, and so I guess on the DSO, um, is there anything else that that's um, important for investors to understand about the economics of the project? Traditional base metal um, projects have a flotation plan with the associated tailings and reagents and, and infrastructure around that. Very, you know, capital intensive projects. What we've shown um, and the work we're doing in the background as well, further work we're doing in the background on, on um, a whole range of ore types from Storm is the beneficiation processing route, which is uh, an order of magnitude uh, more cost effective than, than the traditional flotation. So, what that gives us the ability, and look, what again, it goes back to the Arctic, um, you know, Polaris, which is the zinc mine that was north of us, was one of the most profitable mines for tech Minco back in the day, and it had a lot of things going for it, like Storm does, as a simple processing technology and, and amenability, grade and, and volume as well. And so all these three things sort of go into making, um, you know, helping the economics of any project. So the DSO really, um, one, it's open pit, so that's obviously a much lower mining cost than underground um, copper mines. And also, obviously, the, the beneficiation is the order of magnitude, like I said, cheaper than uh, traditional flotation plants, et cetera. So the, the other thing with location, so we are essentially on the, um, I guess, the shipping highway. It's a commercial shipping lane during summer. A lot of ships go past. And so we're also located on the coast. So all of those things factor into the economics of this project. So we're very excited. We're very accessible. Um, fantastic beneficiation and, and processing techniques and, and got the grade and hopefully the tons for the maiden resource as well. Okay and, and on that what are the next steps for American West Metals? Uh, drilling is ongoing uh, so look investors can expect to see further results from the drilling um, assays are being returned obviously from the drill we've done already so expect news flow in that regard similar to today's announcement. We also have geophysics um, that's almost the, the processing interpretation being finalised on that, so expect news on that. And then obviously the beneficiation and DSO work we're doing as well in, in Perth here. Um, we're close to be able to uh, share some results for those two investors as well. Perfect. Well, I wish you all the very best in getting more um, fantastic results as the ones that you put out today. Um, thanks for your time, Dave, and we'll speak again soon. Thanks, Danica. Thank you.